hello a simple coverage on the topic of computer virus what is a virus virus is a it's a kind of harmful program that stands for vital information and resources under seize look at the image can you feel that there's something which is not wanted yes a virus is not wanted so virus is a harmful program and the term payload is it is the harmful action that virus performs so what are the harmful things that a virus does is uh, termed as payload a virus is a harmful program it can harm in many ways showing symptoms of data damage data corruption data loss in the computer misuse of the computer memory format or delete data in computer memory hack the system and share vital information that means things that you don't want others to know and you have kept it safe inside your computer a virus can find those data and release them to outsiders and it can bring the uh, instability to the computer system the system instability then there is something called a hacker now what is hacking hacking is the act of getting into someone else's system without authority or permission and who is a hacker a hacker is a programmer with harmful intentions a hacker gets in another person's system and causes harmful actions for example stealing information spreading false rumors inviting troubles then comes types of virus there are many types of virus but here we are going to see only a few of them they can be it can be named as boot sector virus multipartite virus program file virus just to name a few hmm then comes types of virus boot sector virus it infects the computer by copying the code into the boot sector boot sector means there is a place from where all the starting information of a computer is kept that place is called boot sector so if something is wrong in the boot sector how can the computer begin its work and it replaces the valid contents with its own infected version so what happens is when you start the computer instead of the valid uh, program what comes is the invalid and the infected programs and hence the computer does not function properly there are names of this type of virus it's parity boot is a boot sector virus this killer is a boot sector virus as other name examples then comes types of virus as multipartite virus multipartite is like it's also known as multipart or hybrid so it can show different kind of symptoms it can infect a system more than once it can damage both files and the boot sector so it can be something like a ghost ball as the name example name says that it can even change shape and size and you can forms of attack but it can you know cause varieties of harms then comes program file virus it infects the files on the computer system the it resides on the root of a host file and then begins its operation when the file is executed so when the file is opened it overwrites the file example can be sunday and cascade so what happens in case of a program file virus is that virus waits for a file to open and when that file gets opened it enters and it causes whatever harm it has planned it can overwrite it it can even cause some data loss and etc kind of problems then forms of virus attack what is malware malware is a term used to refer to a variety of forms of virus there are many types of virus as you can see in the image there are so many types of virus and they all look different but when you call about uh, biological virus they are real life living beings 
But when you talk about computer virus, they are non-living beings, right? So this worm, Trojan horse, spyware, adware, keylogger, ransomware, these all are forms of virus programs. Now, forms of virus attack, something is called worm. What is worm? Worms infect and multiply without targeting any specific file. But they replicate and fill the memory of the computer system. The full computer memory gets the same file in so many copies. They mostly spread in computer network because in computer network it gets so many computers to spread out too. And its task is to go on making its own replica and then fill the computer memory with all of the same virus and thus it harms. Then comes Trojan horse. It is a type of malware that seems useful but it misleads the user about its real intention. That means it looks like something useful but actually it is not. It got, it got its name from ancient Greek story of the deceptive Trojan horse that led to the fall of the city of Troy. Now this story you can find as an interesting story of the history. You can look at it in other websites or you can google it and from that you will get to know that some of the files may look like a useful file but it's actually a harmful file. So this kind of disguise is called Trojan horse virus. Then comes uh, another form of virus attack the name of spyware. Spyware uh, is a malicious that means harmful software designed to gain access or damage a computer often without the knowledge of the owner. It's like a spy who is trying to find out a entry point and then enter and then cause all the harm that it can. Mm -hmm. And there are few more like adware. Adware as the name says is lots of unwanted advertisements and you will like you know you will not want to see them but they will keep coming to you. Hmm, so that is an adware. Then uh, there is something called keylogger. It records whatever one types in the computer. That means uh, in the computer if someone is typing something the keylogger has got a recording point from where it records whatever is being typed and later when the person will leave the computer then the keylogger will tell that these all keys were typed so that is how someone can track back what the person had done in the computer so this, these mainly happen on public places where after you someone else will come and do the work kind of then there is something called ransomware ransomware is actually a kind of uh, harmful software that blocks access to a computer and then starts demanding money and starts extorting the user who wants to get access to his own computer. So in that case, ransomware is something like those kidnappers who kidnap and then ask for money. So here they kidnap your data and the information on the computer. Mm -hmm. So after this, we, we will come to the next slide which says how does virus get in? Now, virus, this virus cannot get in because uh, it cannot get in without a software connected to it. It cannot get in just because someone sneezes in front of the computer and the computer gets infected, that cannot be. Or if there is uh, a rain raining outside, then the computer gets sick, it cannot be. It can happen that uh, there can be short circuit or there can be some electrical or electronic problem. But season cannot affect a computer directly, right? So how does virus get in? The virus can get in through infected uh, pen drive or through corrupted websites of internet. So if someone has opened a unsafe website on internet without knowing it can be a Trojan horse, it can be some other virus, then virus can get in. Or if someone uses an infected pen drive and then through that pen drive, the virus can get in. So if you are very particular about your computer and you don't allow outside things to come in or if you can manage to keep your computer safe the help of antivirus and through secured website and only through secured uh, pen drive, etc. So, 
how to prevent virus always use a updated latest version of an antivirus that is a purchased copy not just the free copy because free copies cannot uh, cannot work on many types of virus the purchased copies or the authorized copies are much better and you should scan pen drive and other input media before you are using them that is always a safe uh, safe side that is always to be on the safer side that whatever I use I don't use anything without checking whether it is good or bad mm -hmm. so finally we come to few important tips virus is a harmful program hacker is a harmful programmer the internet can bring virus from unsafe websites antivirus guards a computer against virus and scan pen drive and other input media before you use them because scanning tells whether the input media the pen drive or the cd is okay or has got something fishy in it right so finally stay safe from computer virus now I, Rupa Pandit, would like to express my gratitude to all the image makers. The image source is Google Free Images and the images have been taken for educational purpose. So, I would like to be uh, thankful to all the image makers for whom the presentation was uh, done so nicely. Okay, bye.